The military is working on what they say is a safe way to take control of protests or keep away enemies when overseas. As Action 7 News reporter Justin Matthews shows us, researchers are making that happen with heat. The technology in these two boxes could be the future of preventing scenes like this. It's basically crowd control, uh, crowd protection, crowd removal. These are small prototypes of what physicists are calling active denial technology, where heat is emitted through an antenna, giving anyone standing within about a half mile of where that antenna is pointed an intense burning sensation. It feels like you open a really, really hot oven all at once and it's coming on to you. Scientists started working on this technology in the 1990s at the Air Force Research Laboratory right here at the Kirtland Air Force Base. So far, it has been tested on more than 13,000 people. I decided to step up to the plate to see what it was like. You'll see why you really, really would want to get away if this was put on your whole body. Yeah, yeah, now imagine that feeling out on your whole body. Yeah. Right now, the actual antenna that emits the heat is very large and hard to maintain. What they're trying to do right now is make it on a smaller scale, make it more mobile so that they can maneuver it easy, get it into tighter spaces, get it into situations where it would be more useful. They're hoping it can be used to control crowds that get out of hand. It could replace techniques like using tear gas, but they still have a lot of testing to do. Reporting at the Kirtland Air Force Base, Justin Matthews, KOAT, Action 7 News.